Tell me, what were you thinking when you invented that iPod? What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at the time, I was, you know, I was a consultant, and so what I was definitely thinking was, I need to take this consultancy role because I need the money to help my startup <laughs> company. So that's how it got started, right? Because, you know, Apple wasn't the Apple we know of today, right? Apple was really, really hurting back in the day, even with Steve back. It was, you know, it had $150 million in, uh, in, in, in the bank and $500 million in debt. And through that, you know, now today, 150 billion in the bank. Most, very, most, very different. Not, not due to me. Most but. valuable company in the world, I think. Yeah. Even most, so. most valuable. So what I was thinking was really just about, you know, sustenance, survival. those kind of survival <laughs> for my, for my, uh, for my little startup. But after, you know, Steve really, you know, I said, Steve, how are we going to go up against Sony? And he goes, You make it. Trust me, we're going to put every marketing dollar we have behind it. We're going to make this happen. <laughs> and it, he really, uh, he really did. You know, you know, uh, live up to that, and let's, it was great. It was wonderful. Let's go a little bit further on that. How was it working with Steve on design? I imagine the two of you clashed sometimes. You know, <laughs> there there are two different types of uh, design decisions. Some are fact based, and others are opinion based, <laughs> right? And so, with facts, usually over time, if you got the right facts, and he believed how you cook created the data or, or found out the data, he would go, okay, I understand, we're going to go that way. But then on the opinion-based pieces, you know, what color was it going to be or exactly that shape or exactly that corner, you know, you'd go, oh, it's going to jab in your hand or it's going to patina in this way or it's going to scratch. It's like, you know, you really had to come, I couldn't just, I could have an argue with it, but he always, you know, would always win. We had to come as an army. So it would have to be a bunch of us together, and we'd all go, yes, this is not the right thing. No, no, this is not right. And then we get in a room, and then hopefully we look all around and go, now. And we would just, we'd go at him. And then sometimes he would relent, and other times, no, that's the way it's going to be. But it never always, we didn't always win by any means, but... Uh, it was a wonderful experience because he really pushed you in every different dimension, whether it was the UI or a pixel or a color or a shape or what have you. And so it was an incredible learning experience, and I wouldn't change that for the I've, world. I've heard that as an entrepreneur and a CEO who's design inspired that you have uh, embraced, extended, adopt some of many of Steve's traits as a leader. Would you say that's true? <laughs> yes, I'm unrelenting as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, there, there, there's some differences between, you know, uh, between what we do today and what we did at, at Apple at the time. But we have a lot of the same people from the team. So we, the things that we created and how we created, very, very similar. But, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the big differences, I think, um, between between what we did at Apple and what we do at Nest is, you know, it's really about making sure it's a, a holistic design with the whole team, really feeling like they were the ones mm -hmm. who designed that, mm -hmm. right? You want to make sure you transfer the ownership mm -hmm. and, and the ideas to yeah. the younger guys on the team and feel like they have a real part and a real passion right. around it so that they're incentivized in some way to make sure that that thing exists. And then that was a very, very different dynamic. And then before Apple. they do a review with you, do they all go in the room together and lock arms? And <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> they do some of the same exact techniques where we would we literally would say, okay, there's going to be these three models, these options. We're going to make sure it's perfectly right. And Steve says, just show it to me. No. Steve, no. we're going to do it this way. We're going to, and now my team's doing that The same me. thing back to you. It's doing the same thing to me. And, you know, it's wonderful because they're creating their own culture. 